divert your attention, a really good book, the latest New York Times bestseller, or, you know, read the Huffington Post, do anything to keep you uh, occupied in, in a positive way. Yeah, also, I, I know that you know, sometimes being smart and being involved is, in, is good, too. I mean, I, I, obviously, you can follow up with the airlines to see if there are delays before you even head to the airport. And, and don't always believe everything because things change back and forth sometimes. One minute, it's a three-hour delay, and then it's only an hour. So, so you have to be careful with that. But um, oftentimes, when I'm booking a flight, they'll have like a 30-minute uh, window to change planes in a place like Atlanta. And I look at that, and I, even though they're saying it's okay, it's... It's not always okay. Though you could be really far away, and it means you're running for a flight. And sometimes it's better to take the next flight and have an hour and twenty minutes, not you know thirty minutes, so that you don't have that craziness. And then you're not putting yourself in a position where you're going to miss your connecting flight and be miserable again. You're so right. It is not worth it to try to make a thirty minute connection. And you know darn well your bags aren't going to make it yep. if you check a bag and you don't just do a carry on because. Those bags will never make a 30-minute connection, and then you're going to be frustrated because you're going to have to go buy a suit or whatever at your final destination. So I agree with you. It's much better to have an hour and a half connection than it is to try to expect your bag to make it in 30 minutes, which it's not going to make. Well. Flying these days has a lot of really good things going on and bad things. You know, there there is consolidation. There aren't a lot of empty seats. You always have somebody sitting in the middle. There are some really, really good, inexpensive fares and then some not-so-good fares. And it, it's just all changing. And I think what it is is we just have to kind of adjust and, and get smarter. And uh, it's, it's just not like it was when, you know, you used to fly on Pan Am or Eastern, right? That's right. That's <laughs> right. Well, and your website, you know, people can go to your website and golfandtravel.com and you've got wonderful articles and wonderful resources on your website that will keep them very busy at the airport. <laughs> Thank you. And um what well, and as well, can you give your website address so if folks are interested in learning more about what you do, having you come and speak to their organization, uh, there's a lot of great information on your website. So if people would like to go check out a little bit more about you, how can they do that? Well, thank you, Dan. It's SharonSchweitzer.com, and Schweitzer is spelled like Albert Schweitzer. And we have lots of blogs on travel and business travel, leisure travel. So we appreciate uh, your support. And, you know, on average, there's five to 6,000 planes in the air above you. So, um, you know, remember delays that you are experiencing um you know, hopefully it's a side effect to travel and it's not uh, affecting you in a negative way. So be safe and happy in your travels. And um, if you have any travel etiquette tips, we'd love to hear from you. Well, happy thank, travels. Thank you so much. And, and, and like I say, it, it could be much worse if you allow it to be. So we, we appreciate the tips and the advice. And uh, thanks for calling in today. Well, thank you, Dan. I appreciate it you having me be a guest on your show. All righty. Uh, what we're going to do is, is we're going to take um, one more break and we'll be back with some more of my deals and some uh, travel stories. So stay tuned for more of the Golf and Travel Show. Cinderella story out of nowhere. A former greenskeeper now about to become the Masters champion. <clears throat> it looks like I'm a wreck. It's in the hole! Thank you. I rap fly, call me drop it from then I go good to go four strokes under, get out the way. If you wanna go play, cause I give it my off every single day. Have a lot of cash, cause I sing my parts. Stacks and stacks, cause I'm making the cuts. You can't fathom my skills, I'm unreal. And we are back at one more time, a quick message from Labor Finders. If your business needs industrial workers or if you're looking for work, you gotta call Labor Finders, cause Labor Finders places for temporary or temporary to hire. Opportunities for skilled, semi-skilled, or general labor positions, such as plumbers, electricians, concrete workers, forklift operators, office clerical workers, and much more. 
Labor Finders has almost 200 offices nationwide. Near here in Boca Raton, they have offices in Homestead, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and Jupiter. So if you need legal, insured, hard workers, or if you're looking for work, you got to call Labor Finders toll-free at 800-864-7749. That's 800-864-7749, or visit laborfinders.com. And we are back. And um, since we're on the topic of uh, flying and uh, airlines, um, we've been talking a little bit about another merger, more consolidation in the industry, and, and that would be the Virgin America um, being merged uh, into Alaskan Airlines. And the airline that was also in the bidding that did not uh, end up getting the win is JetBlue. And JetBlue is... I have a love hate relationship with, and you know it's 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 interesting. You know, as we were talking to Sharon, you know, she perhaps may like an airline that I don't. We all have our own favorites and our own experiences. And um, but JetBlue, like I say, usually they're pretty good. And and not so long ago, they introduced a new high end first class kind of a um, opportunity for their uh, customers uh, by the name of Mint. And Mint is. Um, I'm looking at a picture of of, uh, of it right now. It almost looks like a little uh, office cubicle um, where uh, you have um, a, a beautiful HD t- uh, TV in front of you, and it's got a wall around you, and the seats are lie flat seats. They're they're um, 80 inches, and uh, you know a lot of these um, these mint type uh, configurations you're finding more and more. On some of like the 787s flying to to Europe on the you know the really long flights or to Asia, but what they're going to do is is to try and uh, kind of steal a little bit of the thunder it seems from this big merger between um, Alaska and um, uh, Virgin is uh, introduce these mint um, seats now on flights that are going cross country here in the states. So from Fort Lauderdale to Los Angeles, Fort Lauderdale to San Francisco. Um, Las Vegas uh, to JFK in New York, San Diego, JFK, San Diego, Boston, San Diego, Kennedy in New York, and uh, I mean Seattle, Kennedy, and Seattle, Boston. So um, the folks who are close to our listening area here, um, you know, obviously you're going to have to spend a little bit more money to get this kind of a, of a seat. Um, you know, I, I do fly the red eye frequently coming back from the West Coast, and I'm, I'm not I, I don't sleep as well as I used to, but if I had the opportunity to have uh, this, and, and they're kind of describing them as a, as a pod, it actually has a door that closes, so you, it, it's, I don't know, it's like, it's like back in the old days, if you would take a train and you get like an upper berth or a lower berth or something, you know, and a curtain, and you kind of close yourself in, and you got your own little uh, compartment there, so... Um, in any in any event, these are the, this is the first time that any airline for domestic flights has uh, said that they're going to do something like this. It's going to take them, I believe, about a year. Uh, sometime in 2017 is when it's going to begin. Uh, probably the first quarter, though. So, so yeah, maybe a year or less. And these are on Airbus A321 uh, aircraft. So um, it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. And my concern with consolidation always is I, I worry about us, the the passengers, and when there's more consolidation and potentially the opportunity for less players to control the markets, oftentimes that gives them the excuse to increase the fares, and that's not something that I approve of in any way. Um, I also like to talk a little bit sometimes about some interesting things to go visit in interesting places, and one of the things that I often will talk about would be some music or music festivals. And this one caught my eye. It's it's coming up uh, in the not too distant future, about a month or so away. Uh, easy drive for anybody who's listening to uh, me here in South Florida to a town that I recently visited, maybe a year or two ago, um, for the first time, and it was really cute, and I enjoyed it. And that would be the town of uh, Lake Dora here in Florida, in the central part of the state. And just a really nice town, great restaurants and bars and shops and just um, just really, really cool. And they do have a lot of festivals, especially through the uh, 
I, I guess the slow season, the off season to, to draw folks in there. In the peak season, it's, it's quite crowded. You don't need to draw anybody. But they've got, um, on May 20th and 21st, the Mount Dora Blues and Groove weekend. And, um, I'm not familiar with all of these bands. They, I'm sure that they're quite good, but I'll, I'll let you all know on, on Friday, May 20th, starting at 6 p.m., they got the Smoking Torpedoes, Joe Survival, Caruso, and Damon Fowler group with Beth McKee. And on Saturday, starting at 6, the David Julia Band, Petey and the Ravens, and Devon Allman Band. Now, Devon Allman, I do know because I've seen him play. That's Greg Allman's son, and his band is excellent. So, um, I, I think that it would be a cool place to go to and, and check this out. Uh, bluesandgroove.com. You can get more information. And uh, Mount Dora is just a, a very, very cool place. So uh, I would recommend that. Um, now, here's, you know, usually uh, I want to take a, a little break from Dan's deals. Dan's deals are always a, a good deal, obviously, whatever the price. It's it's going to be something that's typically highly discounted, something that I've vetted and, and made sure that it's uh, appropriate. Uh, either I've done it myself or, I, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm checking the reviews. But I, I saw a story from some folks uh, at a website called cruisecomplete.com. And Cruise Complete does refer to other places that uh, you could book your, your cruises at. But it, it's really a place that just has all sorts of information about all different kinds of cruising to all over the world and uh, different sales and packages based upon what it is that's of interest to you. If you're looking for shorter cruises, longer cruises, uh, high end, low end, um, two days, uh, a month, around the world, whatever it is that you want, you can look on there and you can find it out. And I just thought that kind of to be a little bit different from these great deals that I love to throw out there for you all, um, this is a story about the most expensive cruise opportunities and the most high end, uh, what they're calling the poshest digs at sea. And and I, I just thought that it was kind of interesting because it's not something that I typically would be uh, uh, having in my budget. And um, not to say that you all might not, um, but I, but I was just kind of curious to know what it does cost to you know have the the best penthouse suite on a cruise where, you know you're you're not shoehorned into a tiny little room and you know maybe you get a balcony because you just need the air to breathe. Um, so the other half, those folks that uh, money is no object. So here's here's a, a few examples um, on Crystal Cruises. Now Crystal Cruises, their least expensive rooms are not cheap. This is a high end uh, cruise line, and if you want to stay in their penthouse suite with a veranda on the Crystal Symphony, it's a 982 square foot uh, suite. So it's kind of nice. Master bath with a heated floor, a spa flotation tub, a shower with a customized shower director and heated bench. Queen size bed, walk in closet, uh, 24 hour a day butler service, uh, a welcome bottle of Cristal champagne upon arrival, uh, complimentary soft drinks, beer, bottled water in stock in your refrigerator, um, free Wi Fi, fresh flowers, unlimited specialty dining. Uh, it, it, this is about as nice as it gets. And if you would like to be in that suite for a 12 night British Isles cruise, it would set you back about $6,500 per person. A um, little pricey for me, but uh, it, it sounds like a good value if, if, if that's in your budget. Um, similarly, on Seaburn, another high-end cruise line, again, where even the least expensive um, accommodations are not cheap, um, their Winter Garden Suite features a personal suite stewardess, a dining area that seats six, two bathrooms, glass-enclosed solarium with a tub and a daybed. Uh, amenities include complimentary internet, in-suite bar, featuring water, soft drinks, beer, and your requested wines or spirits. And um, this will set you back, uh, let's see where this is actually cruising to, um, a seven-day uh, cruise to Greece and the Dalmatian Delights from Athens to Venice, either of those two. And that's going to run you about thirteen grand per person. So, uh, again, a little bit pricey. Um, Regent has uh, something similar um, uh, this I believe is, uh, obviously, uh, let's see, 10, 10 night Greek cruise, um, eight, uh, about $9,000 per night. Oh, so that one's $89,000, a little bit pricier. River cruises as well on Asmara, 
Um, on the river, uh, seven night Greek Isles in Turkey is, uh, 79, um, 100 per person, uh, a little bit pricey. And, and just to offset that, um, I do have, before we take our last break, uh, the way I like to cruise, um, for the value of the discount, the, the Dan's deal. So here's the other side of the equation. I've been actually wanting to go on a river cruise for a long time to Europe. Not easy to get my wife to go to Europe because she watches too much news and, and is just a, a nervous traveler. But um, this is kind of neat because, you know, some of these cruises do not go to the main places, although some do. Um, but uh, this is through, uh, I found it on Travel Zoo from a company called uh, Vantage. And um, uh, it's, it's ranked one of the top river cruise lines by the readers of Condé Nast. So um, 75% off their offering right now on Europe River Cruises, starting at as little as $999, a total of 75% discount, that is. Um, you can go on uh, places uh, like um, the south of France, uh, classic France down the Seine, uh, round trip from Paris, um, Paris in the heart of Normandy, um, if you prefer uh, Germany, you could take the Danube uh, um, and go all the way to Budapest, um, places like Vienna, Bratislava, um, the heart of Germany, um, places like Frankfurt and Würzburg and Bamberg and Nuremberg, all the Bergs. Um, so uh, for only $999 to start with, um, you know, you, you can do this. Now, you got to book this to get this deal by April 20th. So do not wait. Taxes will add uh, one or two hundred additional dollars or so to it. But I've been looking at these cruises, and I'm telling you, this is an incredible deal. If you're looking to river cruise in Europe, now is the time to do it. So go check that out on Travel Zoo, and don't waste too much time. What we're going to do is we're going to take one last break, and I do have a bunch of other um, deals for you, and uh, you won't want to miss them. So stay tuned for more of the Golf and Travel Show. And we are back, and I hope you don't have the travel and blues, and that's why we try and find these deals that we can all afford and uh, cool places that we could go to and we can shed ourselves of the blues. The only time I want you to have the blues is if you go to, like, a blues festival that I tell you to go to, and, and then you can have the blues. But to be honest, I really like to go listen to the blues because I figure if someone else is singing the blues, I feel better about myself. So let them sing the blues. I just like to listen. Um, here's a deal that I just got from, uh, Travel Zoo. They, they, they sent this to me by mail. It's hot off the press and, uh, a place that I've never been to, but it does look pretty cool and does get great reviews. So I'm going to let you know it's a place I've been wanting to go to, and that would be to Belize. And, um, not too difficult to get to Belize from, uh, the East Coast, especially from Florida. It isn't too far. Uh, they don't have much in the way of golf there. So, uh, being that I typically do cover golf and travel, although not always, it hasn't been on the top of my list, but it is very, very famous for, uh, diving and, um, you know, just beautiful water, beautiful beaches. Uh, um, it, it's a cool place, uh, lots of nature as well. And this is just for a hotel. But um, it's it's a great deal. The Belize Ocean Club, you get a beautiful suite for, for two. It's a four-star resort right uh, on the ocean at, uh, at the beach. A one-bedroom waterfront sunset suite, um, which I guess is maybe some sort of a view that's not quite oceanfront, starts at $139. Um, you can upgrade to an oceanfront or a two-bedroom suite for between $40 and $110 more, depending on which ones you choose. They all have private balconies. Um, they, according to this, they all have ocean views. So, uh, perhaps even for the $139, you might get an ocean view, full kitchens. This includes also airport transfers. Okay. So, um, that's pretty cool. Complimentary shuttle to and from town several times a day. 
So right away, you don't need to rent a car, worry about renting a car and driving it in a strange country, which sometimes can be difficult. It includes non-motorized water sports. It includes bikes. A welcome drink is also included. And they'll even give you a complimentary upgrade when it's available. So um, depending upon, uh, you know, when you're going and which accommodations you're looking at, this is through July 31st. And like I say, starting at as little as $139 a night for Belize. Um, Sounds like a good deal to me, so uh, you may want to check that out on TravelZoo. I'm not sure when that expires, but most of their stuff, it either expires relatively quick or gets sold out relatively quick, so um, don't wait. Um, here's another place that uh, I got a deal for you, and I, I don't know a lot about this place, but I've always been curious, and I always wanted to learn more about it, and that would be the Azores, um, which is uh, the, the coast of Portugal. And, you know, getting there, um, you know, it, it, it's not that difficult from the East Coast, especially from uh, the Northeast. And um, Boston is actually where the, the flights typically go. And uh, it's not that expensive if you're listening in Florida to get up to Boston to then take advantage of this deal, which is the way that they recommend uh, doing it. And, you know, again, found on Travel Zoo. And um, a lot of people say wonderful things. Again, Condé Nast Traveler, they, they say wonderful things about uh, the area called the Green Island. Um, it, it's just uh, a lot of nature and uh, just totally unspoiled landscape. And this includes nonstop airfare from Boston, six nights at a four-star hotel with ocean views, daily breakfast, Jeep tours, uh, hopefully I'm going to pronounce this right. Lagoa de Fogo and Sete Cidades, a uh, Ponta Delgada city tour. Oh, whale watching. Very, very famous for whale watching. Um, you know, you may want to do a little research to double check the times that they have the best, uh, whale watching available. But, um, I do believe that, uh, the, the Azores are, are known to be one of the best places in the entire world. Um, you know, for whale watching. They also have thermal pools in the area. So if you like to, you know, take advantage of uh, mineral pools and, and, and hot pools, um, I, I love to soak in the hot pools. Um, one of my favorite places to do that is Costa Rica. I sat for hours in, in the thermal springs. Um, but they do have them here as well. And for $89, including overseas airfare, um, all those uh, extras that are thrown in, you know, that is just an incredible deal. So if you had any curiosity at all, like I did, you may want to go check this out. I'm trying to see when this expires. Um, uh, I cannot find it, but I'm pretty sure that it's still good. But again, I would not wait. Oh, here we go. April 22nd. So you do have a few days, but not too many. So hurry up, travelzoo.com and uh, go to the Asia Island, Asia Islands. Uh, why not? You know, go to a place that uh, you could tell other people about. Now, here's another place that I've been wanting to go for for the longest time. Um, I, I, I haven't gotten there because typically it's difficult to get a good deal to go there, especially from here in Florida. It's a place where folks from the West Coast or the Midwest are more likely to get direct flights and, and travel to as opposed to the East Coast. This is in Mexico. So, you know, we'll typically go to places like Cancun and um, Cozumel, uh <coughs> And this is on the other side, and, and I, I just don't, it, it just doesn't seem to work. But I noticed that they're actually offering a package out of Orlando, which is very, very unusual to get a package to Puerto Vallarta um, out of anywhere in Florida. So um, there's a slight upcharge, but for starting at uh, $699 a week in Puerto Vallarta, including airfare, and it's an all-inclusive so you're, you're getting all your meals, all your alcohol, um, unlimited food and drinks, your transfers, your air. Uh, I, I mean, it's just crazy. Now, this is in a place called Punta Mita, which um, is a destination that's you know quite nice. It's, I guess, just outside of the city. Uh, beautiful oceanfront, private beach, on-site, uh, a little mini zoo with monkeys and crocodiles. And, um, hey, you know, I've been to hotels like that. Just be careful with the unlimited alcohol to stay away from the crocodiles. Uh, two outdoor pools, including one with um, grass palapas, whatever that means. I, I believe that they're little uh, like tiki huts or, or something. Um, you know, other hotels that are of this quality, according to my friends at Travel Zoo, they say one night could cost you as much as this entire week, especially when you're talking about an all-inclusive. It's the Grand Palladium Vallarta 
resort and spa. They got six restaurants, three bars, including a 24 hour sports bar, a spa, four pools, a kids water park with two slides. Um, you know, if, if you don't want to bring the kids or you don't want to be near the kids, they have a sister property called the Royal Suites Punta de Mita, which for just about a hundred dollars more is adults only. And, um, I might opt for something like that. Now, this particular deal, you only have until April 20th to take advantage of it. So, uh, you may want to, um, jump on it right away because, uh, I don't know. It's really cool. And, and I got to tell you, you know, I've been reading more and more about Mexico. And, um, while obviously you have to exercise caution in Mexico, the amount of crime from a couple of years ago, it's diminished considerably. Uh, there's an occasional incident here or there, like any major city, even in our country, you know, has some crime. But from what I understand, if you're careful, a place like Puerto Vallarta is is not unsafe. And, uh, you know, a lot of history over there, um, a real lot of history, some fine dining. Uh, a lot of um, famous people from Hollywood used to vacation there, people like Elizabeth Taylor. So uh, cool place to go check out Puerto Vallarta. I would uh, I'd like to do it myself. Um, now, another place that I have been to as far as the destination, but I have not been to this particular uh, hotel. It's uh, a newer hotel at a, a, a destination that I visited and happens to be where my absolute um, favorite golf course is located. And that would be Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. And my favorite golf course is Punta Espada. Um just breathtaking. It, it'll set you back about 250 bucks typically to play, but uh, we're talking Pebble Beach uh, like experience. So um, if you can get there and stay there, uh, and right on in that same area is a place, um, uh, an all inclusive with an ocean view upgrade, the Al Sol Tierra Capcana. So Capcana is the resort with uh, Punta Espada. Opened in 2015, so it's relatively new. Four and a half stars, luxurious, all inclusive. $155 per night per person, including a $100 credit, a bottle of wine, uh, drinks at a nightclub, uh, other discounts. That's from August 21st to October 27th. It goes up a little bit more, October 28th to December 22nd to 170 a night, or August 10th to August 20th, 186 per night. Uh, you got to book this by April 21st. Again, TravelZoo.com. I do recommend uh, that resort. Again, I haven't stayed at this hotel, but it's brand new and looks quite nice in Punta Cana. I mean, just just lovely. And uh, that golf course, it is the best. Uh, next week, we do have uh, a cool guest, so you'll want to tune in. Uh, Julie Barlow, co-author of The Bonjour Effect, The Secret Codes of French Conversation Revealed. So if you've ever gone to France and felt like you got the cold shoulder or they didn't treat you right, well, if you learn a little bit about them and their culture, you might have a totally different experience. If you always want to know about what's going on on the show, we do post it on our uh, Facebook page, so facebook.com forward slash the golf and travel show. And again, I would like to thank our guest from this week, Sharon Schweitzer and uh, SharonSchweitzer.com. She, of course, is the expert on international etiquette, founder of Protocol and Etiquette Worldwide, and uh, does do speaking engagements and can not only um, teach all of us how to be a little bit more chill and uh, how to um, uh, experience travel without uh, losing our cool and uh, having a heart attack, but, of course, there's much, much more to um, what she can take care of and, and help you with uh, at your uh, business, perhaps. So check her out, SharonSchweitzer.com. I want to thank everybody for uh, for tuning in. As I mentioned, I'm in the midst of uh, making a whole bunch of travel plans myself. Luckily, the next couple of weeks, I'll be in town. Uh, unfortunately, when I do travel to Arizona and to Denver, it will cross over on a Friday. So You'll all be treated to a, a, a rerun, but um, working on a bunch more guests as well, trying to get a few more golf guests. Uh, it's um, this time of year. I think the kind of people I want to talk to, they're all traveling and in the air a lot. So uh, I got my work cut out for me, but at least we know that next week we will have a great show. So hopefully you all will tune in for another episode of the Golf and Travel Show. We'll be back uh, with you then. Railway station, got a ticket for my destination. One night stands my suitcase and guitar in hand And every stop is neatly planned For a poet and a one-man band Homeward bound I 
You have been listening to the Golf and Travel Show, hosted by Dan Chu. Heard live every Friday, 7 to 8 p.m. on 1470 WWNN, and replayed every Sunday from 6 to 7 p.m. on 740 a.m. WSBR. Visit the show on Facebook and tune in next week. If you are in South Florida or traveling the world, hit them straight. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.